Good morning. a bit of a, an idea um, of what to do. Okay, the other day uh, I finally got iHeartRadio on my phone um, and I plugged it into the stereo up here. Now the problem is, especially on the weekend, uh, I'm working in the garden or whatever, a lot of messages come through on my phone, especially in my band chat. It starts off, you know, with going to rehearse or whatever, then it turns into idiot photos, idiot videos, dumbass talk, and this can go on for oh, quite a long time. So the phone is constantly ding, 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 notifications, messages, all that sort of thing. So using my actual phone uh, to run music from iHeartRadio or, or whatever, uh, become really, really annoying with the constant dinging and the lowering of the volume and all that. So, I had a thought. Yeah, I've had this phone for about, I don't know, two, three months. So it's a new one. That's my old one. Now this one is, uh, I think it's the Galaxy Samsung 7. Um, now I ended up with, excuse the birds, I ended up dropping this quite a few times. There's a lot of cracks. Um, I'll give you a look. And there's no way you can see it, but there is a lot of cracks on the front. There's cracks on the back. <sighs> so anyway, the whole point is, now these things, even though we all drop them, kick them, throw them across the road, toss them off a building, whatever, these things can cost up to $1,000 to buy. So, and being all cracked and everything, no one's gonna wanna buy it off me. If I would sell it, I'd get maybe $100 if I was lucky. So, instead of just leaving it in a drawer until 10 years pass and you throw it out, or you throw it out immediately, I thought, why not use this? Why not connect this up there, turn off the notifications, and run it that way? Good idea, I'll do that. Now, how do I mount it up there so it's not sitting on top of the cabinet or whatever where I can just swipe down uh, and access it straight away? Well, what I did was the backing. So, let's say the backing of a phone like this. Now I did this with the Lenovo tablets inside. Basically the backing of this, I took it off, I drilled a hole through it, drilled it up there, and then all I've got to do, it just sits in like that, and it's up there. I'll give you a look. Alright, now here is the side of the unit where I've got the amplifier and CD player and all that. That's the Google Home thing there, so I can operate Google outside. Uh, now, I just got this lead, running into the back of the amp and if you can see up there I just put a little screw in and it's attached there so basically it's real simple plug that in there come out put her up there and there we go hang on it's making a liar out of me yeah. oh. anyway so that's that's it up there and all I've got to do is I just go into the app for uh, iHeartRadio, select the channels that I want, and away we go. It's running into the app. So I found a use for an old phone. Um, so, yeah. Okay, now, there's birds. All right, all right, I hear you. I know, you hear other birds. That's why you're carrying on. Anyway, um, speaking of use for old things, uh, these speakers here. Now these have been floating around for a bit, and I came up with an idea today to use them, to utilise them, rather than just throwing them away. Now if you've looked at my other videos, you would see I've got speakers, one up there, one up there, I've got two facing out into the backyard. So I thought, how about I just wire these up as well, which I can do, and I'll have them there and there, so they're firing this way. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you actually how I do this, because these things are not meant to be mounted this way at all. I did have these mounted on a wall inside, and that's actually, a, I've got a sinker sitting in there, and, what, and that's firmly in there. So basically what I'll do is in the wood, I'll drill the holes, that'll go in the hole there, belt it in, and it'll stay up. That's exactly how I've done the other four, and they, put, they don't fall down. They might slip a little, 
they don't fall down or anything like that. So you have one either side and it'll just sit up there. Okay, this is what I've uh, done here. Um, I'm joined by the dog who's lying next to me. I had some sinkers here. Now the holes were a lot were smaller. Um, the ones in the back here, they're a little larger. So I had to use a bigger sinker. I already pre-dipped one to make sure this was going to work. So a bigger sinker, a smaller sinker, which will, I'll hammer that in there, and a screw. Now the whole idea of the screw is, because it's made out of plastic, it's just to give it more stability. So what I'll do, that in a bit. Right now it has spread on me, but what I'll do is I can squeeze that in, pop it in the hole there. Now these are old speakers, doesn't really matter, I mean I was in the thought of throwing them out, so what you see me do here doesn't matter. So I'm just going to lock that in there. Okay, now that ain't going to go nowhere. Now I'm only going to put the screw in for stability. Oops. Okay, that way it's a lot stronger and won't slide out. Okay, now I marked up on one of the beams already where the first hole is going to go. Now before I go into these beams, I have to drill uh, a small drill hole and then get one that is slightly smaller than this so I can belt it in and it doesn't fall off. Okay, now I've already marked up where the first you know, big screw is going to go because on the other side it's a smaller, um, smaller sinker so I'll be using a smaller drill bit. Anyway, here we go. Alright, I've now moved over to a bigger drill bit. Um, it's a little undersized to what the sinker is, which is what I wanted, but I may have to go a touch bigger, I don't know. Trial and error, I guess we find now. Alright, I've already run the cable, so I'll strip the cable, plug it into the speaker in first, because I don't want to slam it up, and then I can't get it back out again. Alright, so I'll plug the wires in, and we'll see how successful I was. Alright, we got one up. Okay, well, uh, before we continue, I had a thing in my door saying I had a delivery this morning at 8.30. Uh, I missed it, so I just go down and get it. Now, I don't even know what the hell this is. I ordered something two days ago, but this couldn't, that couldn't be it. It's too quick. Oh, with this speaker too, my sinker I was going to use, uh, the bloody thing split in half, so I've got another way of how I'm going to put that up. But let's see what this is first. Only two days ago. Now uh, I can't believe we got here so damn quick. All right, I might feel putting this together. All it is, it's just a bird bath where it's got a lower level where you can put some plants in, and there's uh, a solar panel light on top. Now I have a bird bath out here. This one looked cool, so I thought I'd get it. Plus, the uh, we've had a great day today. It's only 19 degrees, but the extreme heat we've been having this summer. Um, 
I was about to say the birds and my birds. Uh, the birds, I've got a big bird bath out the front, a small, a smaller one there, and now I'll put this one together. All the wild birds and that, um, I keep the water fresh. Um, every second day I put in new water because all the birds like to drink it and wash themselves in it. I have, if you've seen my other videos, I've had this year uh, three birds' nests throughout the backyard. They're always in my backyard and they're always in bird baths. But this one looked cool, that's why I got it. Before I have a look and scratch my head out to put this thing together, let's get that other speaker up. Now, I'll show you what happened with my sinker. Okay, basically this happened. The thing split in half, so, and that was the last one I had. So that's no good. So what I'm going to do, I don't care, it's only outside, where are they? These things, I'm just going to zip tie it up, one on either end. I'll zip tie it up there, that's for the second speaker, that means there'll be four facing this, you birds calm down, there'll be four speakers facing within here and two out there. But uh, let's get this one up. Okay, what I'll do first is I'll just pop these through, which will make it easier to, you know, put the speaker up, I guess. Uh, got me wire here. All right, wire the thing up. God, this can be hard sometimes doing it by yourself. Alright, I'll snip off the excess. Just realised I don't think you guys were actually pointed towards the speaker. Hmm. Alright, right, that was a lot easier than trying to drill bloody holes in and, and fit all sorts of stuff. Anyway, let's make sure it all works. Alright, just get the amp on. Hopefully I hear some sound coming out of it. I did check this prior. Beautiful. All works good. All right, I'll just give you a look at how nutty I make things. I don't know if you can see all the way up there. There's a speaker up there. Obviously, the new one I just put there. Then that other one that faces into the backyard. Let's go for a walk. Okay, whoops. All right, so yeah, that one up there. That one up there. Let's go for a walk. And that one up there. Okay, there's no way in the world you need this many out in the backyard, but it was either a case of toss them in the bin because I don't know what to do with them. No one would buy them. We'll use them. So uh, I'm using them. Let's have a look at this thing. There you go. Uh, this bit was a bit of a pitch to put together, but uh, once you know how, it's, it's all right. There's the light, it's just a solar power light. Now, what I'm gonna have to do, obviously in here, this gets filled up with water. Uh, here, because there's some holes in the bottom here, you throw some dirt in, put a couple of plants in, it'll grow. Now it's gonna find somewhere to put it. But, uh, yeah, not bad, I ordered it only two days ago, and here it is already. All right, guys, um, well, that's it. See you on the next video. Enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whenever you're watching. Catch you next time. Bye, guys.